Welcome to the WBC Arena, and what a night and what a fight we expect this to be. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Hiding out of the blue corner, an Olympic bronze medalist from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a hard-hitting sensational knockout artist, and a WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. This is the night. Everybody's looking forward to this night. The heat, the atmosphere, you could cut it. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. hopes for this battle between these two athletes. Insane action. He just misses with that jab. Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. Can you imagine walking into this tub? Walking into a room with such nice people chanting your name. You can't even hear your corner man whisper in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about it. Changes from both men in this ring. He takes that jab. He didn't take that jab well at all. The counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. The action is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's so important. The referee's going to do his fight right. He's going to be the first one to get caught. Insane action. Say no moss. And this is that jab. The spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Terrorize them into not wanting to draw punch because they don't even see the shot leaving. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. Jab. 
it's the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. A couple of big units there, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have it, Simon. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. is winning this bout. That was super tight. Each one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked. And he misses with the left uppercut. Showing exceptional chins, by the way. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable. Oh, you play calm, play cool. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And this with that jab. Seconds to go. This fight is closer than two pages and a... He's going to be the first one to get rocked. Jam. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Fourth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. He caught him with a left hook. Oh, that punch. He misses with that jab. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches if they're not throwing as many on their own. What could they change? They can... This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? And he misses. 
misses with that jab. Oh, and he caught him with a left hook. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the hat and get to relax. Can they figure out the combination to this set? That left scores. Big right hand. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? It's too hot. He's going to be the first one to get caught. Going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots. But that leaves more opportunities for head shots. He just misses with that big right hand. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket him. These two are the perfect dance partner. And he caught him with a left hook. seconds here and I think he knows he's won this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here for this guy, Johnny. Leaves a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there. Round seven. Here we go. Far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Quick 
punch scores. And they figure out the combination to this safe. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. That jab scores. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This fight is closer than two pages and a book. Which fighter is going to get caught first? and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. He wants to finish the show right now. Can he find that one big shot? Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, talk to close them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Just missed with that left jab. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. How are they still standing? It's all offense all the time. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no... Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. You don't want to trade shots. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way to a fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. Clean by a left hook. He threw the hook, didn't land. One of these fighters.
fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic... This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This one could go either... Fighter's gonna get caught first. Left <laughs> punch. Fantastic punch. Punches and bunches, that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you're almost such a fast fighter. Fast fighters can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He caught it with a left hook. those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. belt around 11. Swing and a miss with that left hook. He caught him there with the left hook. a home for that jab. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. It's the one who draws first blood count. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? here and oh wow they just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble i don't know if i've ever seen and down goes deontay One, two, three, four, five, six, well he is glad to have heard that bell wow it's like the bell for round 12. Caught him with 
that power punch. That left hook misses. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want.